In addition to doing better on our health metrics than most of the nation, we are also experiencing a better economic recovery than the nation and most other states. Uh, Maryland was able to keep more than 70 percent of our entire economy open throughout the entire crisis. We safely opened 98 percent of our economy back in mid-June, and nearly two months ago we entered stage three of our recovery plan when all businesses were able to safely reopen in our state. We have now added uh, and regained nearly 200,000 jobs since our recovery began. Uh, last month, our private sector grew at the seventh fastest rate in America. Our health care sector grew at the sixth fastest rate among all 50 states. And our manufacturing sector grew at the third fastest rate in the nation. There are, however, increasing indications that the national economic recovery is stalling. Uh, the failure of Washington to provide additional stimulus relief for our small businesses, struggling families, and to the states for economic recovery is having a devastating impact. And we need both parties in Washington to stop playing politics, to end the gridlock, and to get this done for the American people. Our uh, small business community and our struggling Marylanders who depend on them for their jobs cannot afford to wait any longer. This is especially true for our restaurants, entertainment venues, and our small mom and pop shops along our main streets across the state, many of whom are struggling and are desperately in need of additional and immediate relief. More than 81,000 Maryland businesses have already received $10 billion in PPP funding, and we have already put out $7.6 billion in unemployment assistance to more than 622,000 Marylanders. In addition, uh, we have also already provided $250 million in emergency economic relief, including more than 10,000 grants and loans to small businesses and nonprofits. Earlier this week, we announced $13 million in additional relief for Maryland farmers, growers, producers, and watermen. Uh, we have already provided $10 million in funding to help small businesses retain their employees and have provided $3 million more in assistance for our arts and nonprofits organizations. All of this has made a big difference. Uh, but it's still not enough. So today, we are doubling this $250 million in relief by investing uh, $250 million from the state's rainy day fund for a total relief package of $500 million through the Maryland Strong Economic Recovery Initiative. Uh, this new $250 million investment will fund a combination of new relief programs as well as the expansion of our existing successful relief programs in order to quickly provide additional relief uh, to the small businesses and their employees who need, need our help the most. This economic recovery investment will include an additional $50 million for the Maryland Small Business COVID-19 Relief Grant Fund, which provides direct, immediate grants to businesses and nonprofits that have lost revenue because of the COVID-19 pandemic. This $50 million represents the third installment of this successful program, which we launched in March and expanded in June uh, to bring our total investment to $145 million. Uh, it will uh, allow us to fully fund the entire backlog of all the business grant applications which have been already received and reviewed by the Maryland Department of Commerce. The Maryland Strong Economic Recovery Initiative will also provide 
50 million dollars in new relief specifically for Maryland restaurants. This will go to things like purchasing equipment and services to expand outdoor dining for the fall and winter uh, through improvements such as tenting and heaters as well as funding for infrastructure and health improvements including HVAC filtration systems and sanitation services. It will also fund things like technology upgrades to support the expansion of more carryout and delivery, as well as the pur purchase of PPE for restaurant staff, and it will even assist struggling businesses with paying their rent. Uh, we are providing this funding to local jurisdictions who will be able to, to distribute these available funds to qualifying restaurants as quickly as possible. All of this uh, money must be dispersed immediately and no later than December 31st of this year. We are also providing $20 million in additional dollars for grants through the Maryland Department of Housing and Community Development to assist other hard-hit businesses and local entertainment venues in our 33 Maryland Main Street organizations as well as the eight Baltimore City Main Street organizations uh, representing nearly 4,000 businesses across the state. We will invest another $20 million, which will triple uh, the investment in the COVID-19 layoff aversion fund uh, to assist additional small businesses in retaining their employees. This successful program, uh, administered by the Maryland Department of Labor, has already helped small businesses with an average of 20 employees to stay open and has saved nearly 9,000 Maryland jobs. Uh, we are also uh, doubling our previous commitment with an additional $5 million into MISBIDFA, the Maryland Small Business Development Financing Authority, to provide even more small and minority business low interest loans. Our economic recovery initiative will also include $2 million in additional funding to support hometown tourism efforts that promote our restaurants, local attractions and shops, and an additional $3 million in funding uh, will also go to assist nonprofits, county arts organizations, and local artists and performing artists. Finally, we are establishing a dedicated emergency uh, rapid response fund of $100 million, which will be available to immediately deploy to the other areas of economic need as we move forward, as we assess our state economic situation on an ongoing basis, and as we wait for the federal government to reach a consensus on the next uh, federal stimulus package. I have directed our teams uh, in each agency to ensure that this much needed funding gets out the door to our struggling citizens and small businesses as quickly as possible. Uh, we also intend to work closely with our local partners so that they can assist in expeditiously getting this money into the hands of those who need it most. Uh, this new $250 million Maryland Strong Economic Recovery Initiative will be critical to the thousands of struggling restaurants, small businesses, and main streets across the state who are attempting to weather this crisis. Uh, equally important to their survival will be all 24 jurisdictions finally moving into stage three of the Maryland Strong Roadmap to Recovery Plan. For months, uh, our restaurants, small retail shops, and other businesses have had safe uh, and phased reopening plans, and our health metrics are well below required uh, reopening levels, and yet we have a few local leaders who are still refusing to allow them to open and to operate under the state's uh, reopening guidelines. Solving the uh, and slowing the spread of this virus and saving lives uh, continues to be our most important priority. And with our health metrics continuing to remain low and stable, uh, local jurisdictions should be focused on our economic health and well-being as well. Uh, we're Disappointed that many counties have not yet allocated the bulk of the assistance funding which has already been provided to them. 
in order to help citizens and small businesses in their communities. Uh, the state uh, paid out more than $362 million in CARES Act funding to uh, 19 of our smaller counties. And to date, only one-third of that funding has been spent or dispersed by the counties. The five largest counties received another $691 million directly from the federal government and CARES Act funding. Uh, this money is required to be spent by the end of the calendar year. And so we're calling on all of the local jurisdictions to uh, consider matching these new state investments by utilizing some of their remaining CARES Act funding uh, and to help us quickly push it out into our economy. From the beginning of this crisis back in March, I have been fully committed uh, to keeping Marylanders informed, to being transparent, and to providing the facts as directly as I can. We've also continued to take bold actions and to make sound decisions based on the rapidly changing facts on the ground. That is exactly what we will continue to do in the days, weeks, and months ahead. But it is the everyday actions of all Marylanders that will ultimately determine if our health and economic recovery can continue. Uh, I know that there is uh, COVID uh, fatigue and tremendous frustration uh, that this pandemic is continuing to disrupt our daily lives. And I know that many people are experiencing a great deal of hardship and stress. Uh, this has been a very long and difficult year for all of us. But the only way that we can continue to make progress is by all of us doing our part and looking out for one another. We need to recommit to the simple actions that can keep our families and our neighbors safe. Uh, because only the people of Maryland have the power to slow the spread, prevent the surge, and to keep Maryland open for business.